Good morning everyone, Rocco here from WR Capital coming at you on a lovely sunny bright uh, Saturday morning in South Africa. Um, today I want to speak to you about a couple of things that are coming across my timeline. A couple of uh, people have been messaging me about this as well. So let's start and tackle them one by one. The first one is people want the markets to close. People um, or they want an opinion, do the markets need to close and stabilize, etc. So, I believe in the free market system. If you look at markets, they tend to correct themselves, and then they find bottom, and then they reverse. So what happened is a very violent reaction due to panic and fear, um, which, again, if you go into my LinkedIn feed, you'll see that we said that's what's going to happen. Um, so we weren't surprised. Um, but if you look at, um, in the previous video, we dealt with quantitative easing uh, and how the central banks use it basically to inflate the true value of shares. No one said anything about this. Everyone just kept quiet. Investors were happy. People were happy. And I mean, as as traders, we basically didn't say anything because it's not our place to say anything. We just go where the money goes. Um, and I'll handle that uh, a bit later on in a different segment. But the, part, the, the, the point of that I'm making is why when the central banks were using quantitative easing to basically inflate the true value of these companies. I'm talking about um, these tech companies, Facebook, Google, Apple, whatever uh, big other companies uh, you can think of. Why didn't we then say we need to close the stock market so we can find the true value of these companies? Who decides what the true value is? It's a free market. So now under these conditions, who is saying this is not the true reflection of the price of these companies under these conditions? Price action has always been um, priced into the markets. So what, so if you close the markets now, the meltdown when it's going to open is going to be worse. Believe me. The markets need to find bottom and they will reverse. When are they going to find bottom? It's as long as they are in bear divergence, which will probably correlate um, with um, an event like uh, discovering of a vaccine or um, something else. You'll see the markets pulling out of bear divergence um, and the market starting to recover. This is the nature of things, people. Um, so... The worst thing that you can do now, and I'm not saying it just because I'm a trader. I'm saying it in with regards to the financial system, the free market, um, and basically the way that the, the, the current world order, I'm talking about the current world order in terms of finance. If, that, if you want to protect that, you need to keep the markets open. If you want to substitute it with something else, you close the markets now. And believe me, we'll see a new world order. Something for a, a different um, video. But so that's my take on why we not, should not close the markets um, at the moment. And uh, to recap, they need to find bottom. We'll reverse um, as soon as the pa panic and, and, and fear basically subsides. Second point, becoming a heated battle between investors. Um, and I, when I say investors, I'm saying in individuals and their fund managers. Because a lot of investors, they sort of leave that function over to a broker. A broker, fund manager, whatever you want to call them. Whereas traders mainly trade from them, for themselves. So, it seems to me that investors and their fund managers are attacking traders for shorting the market. It's like uh, suddenly traders are bad, you know, short selling is bad. Um, my question is, if our system that we use, and we are like a little company at the bottom of Africa, um, in a country most people haven't, like in America, haven't even heard about, you say South Africa, they're going like, yeah, it's, you know, it's, where, where is that? It's like in Africa. 
in Africa as a country. If we saw it, again, proof to uh, um is on my, it's on my uh, LinkedIn feed. It's always easy to say in hindsight, oh yeah, well, I saw it. Mm -mm. Go and look, exact dates to the day. Even yesterday, um, our system saw exactly what's gonna happen on the DAO. Uh, remember we built, um, when, I, when, when I said we built our system to look at very certain things, uh, we took about I think 25 or 50 years worth of data and we basically did the analytics and uh, figured out this is how the market works this is how it's always been this is not um, sure you can't find a precedent but it's it's uh, an exact same precedent but it's still the same movements that uh, we can expect when they when the fed um, announced uh, quantitative easing or they were using quantitative easing we were in bull divergence uh, the whole time but I just kept going up 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 so well, what's it now it's in bear divergence it keeps going down 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 so point is if we saw it then fund managers should have seen it as well so either one they knew and they didn't do anything because either their hands were tied or they couldn't tell their clients that to withdraw all their money or worst case scenario they didn't which is a real problem because then you don't fund managers certain fund managers don't want to generalize and don't generalize like talking about certain fund managers actually don't know what's happening in the financial markets which is scary they're trusting your money to someone that actually doesn't know what's going on it's got all these degrees against his wall it's got all the um, um, the the right marketing speak but he doesn't know what's going on so now those fund managers and investors basically are angry at traders no my friend that's not that's not how it works um so the whole investor versus trader is going to get ugly um but personally i feel um the blame should be squarely on the fund manager and also the investor not checking up on his uh, portfolio i mean uh, that's why you should have regular conversations. So even me, I had ETFs. Um, I still believe in ETFs, just not now. So when I saw the crash coming, well, not sorry, not crash, crash correction. Let's not use the term crash. We use the term correction, market correction. So when our system saw it, I withdrew all my money from my ETFs, and I will put it back when when the market starts recovering there's nothing wrong with that why why do i need to basically um um how can i put this um allow for the accumulation of my wealth to take a hit because the market takes a hit that's so unnecessary it's like this perpetuating thing about uh, or this cliche about it's time in the market oh yeah you need to absorb shocks price shocks that's nonsense that's the biggest load of rubbish that's been ever been spewed um, by someone because it's a generalized statement because I spoke to an uh, elderly gentleman yesterday in the shops uh, during my essential um, shopping um, and he lost 30% of his pension in the last quarter because he had a heavy exposure to a company called Sassel. Uh, Sassel is a South African petro but well, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's actually a, um, a, a multinational um, petroleum company, but it's based in South Africa. Had massive exposure. So now he was supposed to retire in one or two, I think one or two or three years. He can't. He doesn't have enough money to retire so was it gonna help to say to him oh no don't worry you'll make it up you know it's time in the market no 
No, it doesn't. So, to conclude, we are running a special at the moment where um, we sell our trading software, we train you uh, over the course of uh, a couple of days, very intensive training, and we also give you mentorship. So the goal isn't necessarily for you to become a trader or leave your job and just you know suddenly become a trader. It's show you how the financial world or the financial industry works. What are the underlying fundamentals of the movement of, of, of money? Because, I, I, I mean, money flows. If it flows into gold, if, um, uh, sorry, if it flows out of equities, it can flow into gold, can flow into CHF. If they move, if they both move in the same direction, people are um, converting it to cash, etc. So, I'm going to put a link um, down in the in the description um, of uh, uh, with contact details. And if you're interested, like I said, you don't have to be a trader. Um, but everyone should at least educate themselves to the best of their possibility in terms of their financial um, well-being. The worst thing that you can do in life is trusting someone 100% completely and just saying, here's my money, manage it for me. Um, because when something happens then you're going to be in a position where you can't do anything about it that's my message for today recap don't close the market two it's not all traders faults uh, and three educate yourself financially everyone please stay safe uh, practice uh, self-isolation, social distancing, wash your hands, um, promise you we're going to get through this.